Good evening, Huntingdon. Uh, we can't hear you yet. Good evening, Huntingdon. I thought for a minute you guys have been smoking something, you were so quiet. Welcome to the 50th Forrester Awards. Last time we presented was at 48, and it's a real surprise to be asked to come and do it again, because we thought we'd um, killed that one by being so obnoxious last time. So this time we're going to have another go at it. And we'll see what happens. It's a great honor to be here, and it's a great honor to celebrate the diversity, the breadth, and the wonder of the Huntington University campus and its family, its community, and the liberal arts. Thank you for having us, and we're going to get on with it. So we have a gift for you, and the gift is this. Uh, first of all, we want to thank you for nominating all three of us for Professor of the Year. Um, and so our gift to you is we're not making a video. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I wanted to do a video from the, from the podium. Is that okay? Yeah. This, this won't take long. I, I just wanted to thank the anonymous student who nominated me. And the, uh, well, it's anonymous, right? I mean, there's probably maybe, maybe one or maybe two uh, anonymous students. I don't, I don't know who you are, um, so I won't recognize you. In fact, I don't really recognize a lot of people uh, on campus because of the mask. I, I kind of know people by their brow lines. And, and I guess I just wanted to, again, sort of thank you for nominating me, um, but I have to, and for those of you who voted for me as well, but I have to kind of tell you that I probably won't recognize any of you next year. And, and I just wanted to sort of apologize beforehand because there's going to be a lot of chins and, and exposed noses and mouths that I've never seen before in my life. So, so I just wanted to kind of uh, apologize, but, but again, thank you for nominating me. Thank you. So there's going to be a lot of awards given out tonight, and we didn't want to miss out on the fun, so we've selected some people, special people, to get awards from us. So I guess I'm going to start. So um, I have this lovely Naked Lady Award here. Um, I just want you to know, first of all, that we uh, spared no expense. These awards are truly priceless. Truly. So, um, so the award I'm presenting, um, and there's a little bit of a backstory to this. Um, you may have heard there's been a pandemic. Um, I know. Oh. So last year. Anyway. One thing this has done has made extra work for different people. And sometimes we don't realize how people who already have a lot on their plates, uh, the pandemic created extra work for them. Uh, and a lot of times you were on the uh, sort of the receiving end of some of that work. So this award goes to the person, at least in our view, who was most likely to have sent you and or us a COVID-related email. Yeah. Our academic dean, Luke Fetters, come on up. There he is. There he is. Give it up. I'm sure your wife will appreciate it. Thank you. Our next award sports a very lovely Forrester tractor, which could give us all sorts of problems. And we'd like to invite up to present this, a very special person on campus, we'd like to ask Dr. Emberton to come up to present this award. We would like to give this award 
to the leader of a wonderful group of people on campus who have provided us with a lot of fun, a lot of um, interesting attributes over the course of the year, whether it's been organizing students to act as mass police within the hub, <laughs> whether it's been able to stop a flood within the hub, <laughs> and therefore, you know, deal with all sorts of interesting paraphernalia, we'd like to give this award to Dr. Coffee. Um, I would, uh, it's my uh, honor to present the History and Political Science Department uh, Faculty Spirit Award. And this is going to go to Jeff Lehman. Um, so you can come on up. Uh, Jeff is. <laughs> I'm going to get this trophy fixed. It says 2010 4-H uh, Cow. Uh, Jeff is a. Uh, uh, a leader of the faculty, and he's um, provided consistent leadership in organizing us as faculty marshal. And uh, every year he turns out and does this just amazing professional job organizing um, our commencement ceremonies. And you could just tell this year that he really got into the spirit of because we have six commencements this year, <laughs> thanks to Jeff Lehman. So I wanted to kind of. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Forrester Night. Good evening. And now the first award for students. The outstanding senior in agricultural studies is Holly Holton. <laughs> Holly majored in agricultural education with minors in history and agribusiness. She finished her student teaching in December of 2020 and is now working at Jackson Area Career Center in Michigan. So I don't know if Holly's even here, but um, at HU, Holly was involved with Collegiate Farm Bureau she worked with admissions to assist in recruiting new ag students. She was elected or selected to attend the AFA Leaders Conference in Kansas City. She did an internship at an ethanol plant where she learned to drive heavy equipment. Um, she participated in track and field as a thrower and she was a student worker in the HU Greenhouse where she worked closely with my wife, Natalie, the greenhouse manager. And here is how Natalie described Holly. Energetic, positive problem solver. Takes initiative, productive, hardworking, cheerful and fun to be around. Lights up the room. Loves God and other people. Will leave the world a better place. So congratulations, Holly. Outstanding senior in agricultural studies. Hello, Foresters. I'm giving two awards tonight from the Department of Visual Arts. And the first is to the Outstanding Art Education Forester. This is someone that's been going gung-ho since she started as a freshman four short years ago. And her name is Megan Duckworth. Megan has left her mark all over HU, not only in the art department, but all around campus. Alpha Chi, the Art Ed organization, Kappa Pi, just a few groups 
that she's been involved with. She's double majored, worked as our student gallery director, all while maintaining dean's list status every semester. She sets very high standards for herself and she's going to do great things. We're going to miss her, um, but wish her well. The second award I have this evening is for the Outstanding Graphic Design Forester. Uh, this person is a real leader. His name is Jesse Grimm. Your king, Jesse, has been an integral part of SGA, served as an HU ambassador, is an art department performance award recipient. Uh, this list goes on and on. His art has won awards all over from uh, regionally. He's placed very well in AdFed. Um, he has put his work, work in shows with other college students. Earlier this semester, his work was featured in a highly competitive national art exhibit. And he has won Best in Show and HU Student Show, not once, but twice. <laughs> what I'll miss the most about Jesse is his positive attitude and his openness to try new things with his art. He is such a great role model for our younger art students. Congratulations.
So, once upon a time in anatomy class, <laughs> hey, <laughs> once upon a time this student came to me and said, hmm, I might want to be a biology major. So, we talked about that. And after that, he was in a number of classes with me, of course, and I knew every time it was going to be a blast. So, then I found out, well, he's been a resident assistant, he's been in the SGA, he headed up the research forum, he's been in, uh, uh, oh my goodness, Texas, Florida, West Virginia, on relief trips, domestic relief trips on breaks, and then the urban plunge, the freshman plunge, leap into service. He won the award for the student leadership for the Friesen Center for Volunteer Outreach. Meanwhile, doing all this biology stuff. So, um, this student has a lot of fun. This student is going to go far, and this student uh, is Josh Wilson. I am happy to be here tonight on behalf of the business department uh, to present our award to Hannah Shoup. I suspect that Hannah is playing softball at Goshen College tonight, but let me tell you a little bit about Hannah. We have witnessed so much uh, development and growth in Hannah over the past four years. Uh, she is a great example of hard work, uh, professional, personal, and academic development. And one of her professors says this about her. She was a great role model in class. Classmates on any of her presentation teams were afraid of her. If they messed up or weren't hitting due dates, it was great to watch. But at the end of the day, they all knew that she loved them. And we care a lot for Hannah. She is already making a great professional contribution in an internship at Steel Dynamics and is on her way uh, to work with Ernst & Young in Indianapolis in just a sh few short weeks. So I am happy to accept the award on Hannah's behalf. Two hundred and ten pounds and very, very full. Because of Z's manga, IX foot, I went from a skinny boy to this. I was very short before reading IX foot. I was only 5'4. But after reading this enlightening manga, now I'm 6'4 and thankful now that I've read this enlightening manga to make me taller. Z is a great guy. I met him four years ago and he has gotten better and better. Because of his manga, my dad, who left me when I was four. Z, none of this is true. You met my dad last week. Just read the lines, Nate. Okay, okay. All right, cool. We'll just edit that out. Go. All right. My dad who found out I had bought IX foot came back into my life just so that he could read the manga. This is ridiculous. You know what? I quit. I'm gonna show you what quitting is. Wait, Z, turn the camera on! Hey! <laughs> I am Zadi Banda, the creator of IX foot. Are you in need of a dad? Height, muscles, get IX foot today. Call this number 260 216 5396 or buy IX foot on Amazon. Z, 
See, this isn't an ad for your makeup. This is your force of the year video. What the f is forced over the year? Wait, did y'all hear that? They bleep me out. Are we not allowed to swear because it's an HU video? Wait, let me try. Did you get beeped too? Yo, we're all getting bleeped. Wait, wait, let's let's try it. Thank you. Uh, so for the Institute of Christian Thought and Practice, we have three key areas where we want to present awards. The first award is for Bible and Theology, and that goes to Michaela Dissinger. Michaela, are you here? Come on down. You, I'm sure you've heard people say things like, man, I don't get what they're saying. It's all Greek to me. Well, Michaela would never say that because she does very well at both Greek and Hebrew, and she's used her skills as a peer tutor throughout her time here at Huntington. So we will pass this along. She's probably studying Greek somewhere. You never know. The ministry uh, program this year is, sorry, Michaela, uh, is pleased to present the award to Allison Carpenter. Allison, can you make your way down? Allison has focused her studies on missions, children's ministry, and TESOL. She served as an admissions tour guide and RA, and she was a paid intern for Awakening Fire, where she served in various ministry positions. Uh, after her June wedding, she will be joining the children's ministry staff at Emmanuel Community Church. So congratulations, Allison. Our final area is in philosophy. This student obviously is a singer and dancer too, who knew she's been on the big screen already. Ashley Spirek, will you make your way to the front? You know, Ashley has served the university in so many key roles. You're all familiar with her. Uh, you might not realize that she also was a frontline forester She's given leadership to the Horizon program throughout her time here. She's been a CMC, obviously in student government. We know her as the other Huntington University president, uh, Ashley Spirek. Congratulations. But Ashley, what do I want? Play off the song. What do I want? I want you to stay here a minute. Uh, Ashley is also the recipient of the uh, very distinguished R. William Hester Honors Award in Philosophy. Um, this award is for the philosophy student who demonstrates outstanding scholarship and exemplifies the critical thinking that was exhibited, is still exhibited, by our distinguished professor emeritus, Dr. Bill Hasker, in philosophy. And so we have another certificate for you. Your name will be engraved on a plaque in the Institute of Christian Thought and Practice. I have copies, signed copies of two of Dr. Hasker's books and an award check for $1,000. truly an honor to be nominated for HU Professor of the Year. I thank you, it means a lot. I want to thank my faculty colleagues in the Business and Economics Department. It's a blessing to work with folks that you respect, trust, and enjoy. Congratulations, Class of 2021. You've persevered through some epic obstacles, and in just a few days, you're going to walk across that stage and receive your HU Diploma. At the end of the ceremony, You'll join in singing the HU alma mater with alumni, family, and friends. Now, any good professor should get his students ready for what lies ahead. So here's the HU alumni quartet 
singing your alma mater. By the winding Wabash River, high above the rest, stands our dear old alma mater, Auntie done the best. Alma mater, we your children tribute bring to you. Hail to you, our dear Class of 2021, I've composed a new verse of the alma mater just for you. It's my gift. Wardrobe? This is a low-budget production, Lance. George Killian, Jay LeBlanc, boys, eat your hearts out. By the winding Wabash River swam a lowly carp. Cast my lure into the water and ensnared the car. Tug of war, I won the battle, reeled the fish ashore. Now along the Wabash River swims that carp no more. Amen. 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 Remember, the cart may be dead, but the arts live on. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Um, the Television Production Award goes to somebody who was all in and DMA before they were even a student. First time I met this person, uh, they were invited to our uh, Forrester Media Awards. They came as a senior in high school, and people thought they were a student, they weren't a student, and since uh, she has been here, she's been all in. She's helped out with our radio station, and she's won awards in our radio, and she's been the director of our FDN News. She's helped out with sports. She's helped out with chapels. And she's kind of our utility infielder, everything that we need. Uh, she has a great spirit. Uh, what we'll miss most and what we'll remember most about this person uh, is uh, just her humor and her um, smile and positivity that she brings uh, to every situation, even the stressful ones in broadcast. So the award goes to Miss Becca Malott. This year's recipient of the Digital Media Arts Film Award goes to Beth Ann Bleemel, and I know she's here. Okay. Where are you, Beth Ann? There she is. Over there. Beth Ann is uh, an outstanding, um, one of our outstanding senior film students who has, uh, for the last four years, outworked, outserved, and outloved. Uh, Beth Ann has epitomized the motto that we have of Ephesians 2.10 that says, We are created to create. She's an award winning filmmaker who recently received an award of excellence at the National Broadcasters Association convention, and she's also produced uh, several nonprofit media projects, including the Huntington County United Way film that helped raise nearly uh, $500,000 to support local charities and organizations. Uh, but beyond the awards and her service projects is Beth Ann's passion and love for Jesus Christ and love for those around her. It's evident in the way she leads and serves both on the film set and also in her day-to-day -day life. Please join us in congratulating Beth Ann Blemel for this year's Film Award.
It is my it is my honor to introduce the uh, animation award recipient. This student exemplifies the meaning of the phrase "lead by example." Personally, I'm a firm believer that a good leader does not simply command respect, but rather is given that respect by their. Oh, the phone turned off. Huh? Let's uh, irritate it there. Cool. <laughs> this recipient leads by upholding the expectations, rules, standards instilled by his mentors in his education, and that in turn inspires those around him to do so as well. Among the recipient's many accomplishments in the department, the one that stands out the most is when they played a lead role on an animated commercial project developed for Conner Prairie in Noblesville, Indiana. That project went on to win the highest uh, some of the highest honors at numerous award festivals around the country. Uh, we cannot be more prouder, or prouder, we, yeah, yeah, prouder of this year's recipient of the, uh, the Animation Award, Mr. Sean Eichner. Gosh, I slept again. Skyler, Selena, Elijah, Leah, Zach, Sandra, Brock, Jess. started like 10 minutes ago, so I should probably actually get going. Sandra, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna call you maybe once soon. All right, let's hang up on three, all right? Hang up on three? Yeah. One, two, three. You hang up! Sandra! No, you hang up. You hang up. Sandra, you guys hang up. No, you hang up. We want you to hang up.
On behalf of the Education Department, we would like to give this year's award to Brooke Richardson. Now, I could go on and on and on about all the things that Brooke has done and all the things she's done on campus, all the things she's done in the community, all the kids' lives that she's impacted already, um, but I won't do that because we might be here for a while. Um, but what I will say is you might think that because of some other family members being here that she was a shoe-in um, to be a forester, and she was not. So I just remember back to, the, and she might kill me for saying this, but the first time she visited officially, I think it was just um, because she could, um, but she was already signed up for classes somewhere else and was going to meet a roommate the next weekend. And when she walked out of the room, we were all like, man, like we want to watch her grow. And um, sure enough, here she is. She never went to that place, so which shall be not named. So congratulations. can't see anything. Uh, <laughs> the uh, English Forester Award is going to Bria Warren, and I'll just say a few words. Uh, Bria is a transfer student to Huntington University. <laughs> she came to us from uh, St. Francis. My first meeting, Bria was in a class where it didn't take long for me to find out which novel she didn't like. That would be The Awakening by Kate Chopin, by the way. Uh, she's one of the more intelligent students that I've had in, in the past decade. Uh, this is affirmed by some of my colleagues as well. Uh, she's enthusiastic, smart, and it's our privilege to have had her as our student for the past two years. Congratulations, Bria. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I feel absolutely honored in my heart of gold that I had the opportunity to postpone my nap to be in Brooks Walker's video. Peace and love, everybody. Wait, his name is Brooks? I've been calling him Brooke since freshman year. I was honestly just surprised he could pay for it. You should see my hour. Where's the pizza? I was promised pizza to be here. I just felt so unbelievably honored. <laughs> Brooks has to be part of this video. I remember meeting Brooks freshman year during orientation, and we've been friends since then. Uh, that's a couple years, I'll let you do the math. But I'm just, I'm glad that he got nominated. I'm glad to be in this video, and I hope he wins, because he deserves it. I was shocked. Um, truly honored. When I was handed the script, I, I um, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I'm super honored to be nominated for Forester of the Year. Um, I wasn't really expecting it, uh, but I, I am excited to make the video. It's a lot of fun. Um, shout out to Miranda Gust, all the guys, to Kate. Um, and just thanks to Huntington University for all the, the good times. Hmm. If I had to think of a song that Brooks would use, all-Star by Smash Mouth. Because you know what? He's an all-star. I'd probably say Cats in the Cradle. Um, just because he's been such a fatherly figure for me and the guys here, especially for me, like coming in freshman year. He's just there and always warm and open to us. I mean, obviously, if Brooks is going to choose a song, he's going to choose Ring of Fire, but he's going to choose the H.V. Troublemakers version because uh, he sings a solo. If I were to think of a song that Brooks would use, I'd choose the Shrek Piano Medley by Jack is a Nerd on YouTube because it represents how beautiful my time is here with, at Huntington University and how I've had such a cool friend like Brooks. 
you know, if I had to pick a song, um, quite honestly, I would pick All Girls Are The Same by Juice Will. And that's because Brooks has been there for all of us through all of our women troubles. This is how it is. Now I have an in, and I'm pretty sure it's Rockstar by Hannah Montana. What song am I going to use? Uh, <laughs> getting into the good stuff. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm actually going to use my, uh, my favorite song. Um, I call it my anthem. <laughs> um, I, it's, it's an older song, but it's called... Whoa, whoa, stop, stop. What's that? You can't do that. Oh, I... No. I, I can't say It's that. copyrighted. And, yeah. I, uh, I don't own the rights, uh, so I, uh, I can't tell you what the song is called. <laughs> Is Lindsay Downs in the house? <laughs> this year's recipient of the departmental award in chemistry goes to Lindsay Downs, a graduating student who's usually pretty quiet. The contributions the student has made to the department include serving as a lab assistant for a number of years, designing a periodic table of alumni display case for our department, and successfully completing a research project which was presented at a national meeting. This student can put on her resume and other students can, can attest that she's become very efficient and comfortable with operating a nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer. The recipient of the 2021 Departmental Award in Chemistry goes to Lindsay Downs. Join me in congratulating her. This year's uh, Exercise Science Award goes to Mallory West. Is Mallory West here? <laughs> when I think about Mallory West, a lot of qualities come to mind. Of course, one of those is being very intellectual. But some other qualities that come to mind as I think about Mallory West is her friendly personality. I don't know how many of you guys know Mallory West. By show of hands, do you know Mallory West? Just raise your hand. So hopefully uh, she comes off to you as friendly and positive and energetic. Um, maybe she's just faking that with me. I'm guessing she's not, but uh, that's what really comes to mind. And in the classroom, when I think about Mallory S., I just think about how engaged she is. At least she looks engaged. I know some of you guys probably good, do a good job of faking engagement in the classroom, but she really looks engaged, and I really uh, appreciate that about Mallory West. So uh, I just want to congratulate Mallory West for being the Exercise Science Award recipient this year. And also, to all you seniors, congratulations on finishing your four, maybe five, or maybe six years at Huntington University. <laughs> I have to confess, it took me five years. I just loved it here so much, so I took a little bit longer. But again, congratulations, Mallory West, and congratulations to all of you seniors. Oh, Hannah, be a dear and turn off the light. Come in. <gasps> of course. 
Oh, you're up and you're not even dressed. Dressed for what? Uh, it's Forrester night. They're announcing the Forrester of the year tonight. You've been nominated and you're not even ready. Um, I am so ready for foresting night. I just need to figure out what to wear. You look like you're gonna go to the YMCA! You can't wear that. Why she's acting so confused. She's literally forcing us to do this. Columbia Cashin for Forester of the Year. Can I please stop? She wanted to dance to, I like to move it, move it, but thankfully that's copyrighted. philosopher William Hazlitt said that the love of liberty is the love of others. The love of power is the love of self. The winner of the History Award for 2021 exemplifies the love of liberty. She's been a delight to have in the classroom. <laughs> She's been superb in terms of stoking campus through all four years of her experience here. She's done it with panache, She's done it with style. It's Ashley Spirik. It's my distinct honor to present the Outstanding History Education Award and this year it goes to everybody's favorite Shelbyville native, Trent Yentis. I should say, Trent says he's from Shelby, Tucky, but we're not going to go into that. Um, but Trent has been a real joy to have as a student, um, and we've been blessed to have him here for four years. He arrived with enough credits to graduate in three, uh, but he chose to spend four years with all of us, and that's our great fortune. Um, there's a little misfortune thrown in because he was going to spend last fall semester in Japan studying, but that was a COVID casualty. Um, we don't know if this fall will work or not. It's not looking real good in Japan right now, but... Trent, it's been great to work with you, and it's my honor to present you this award. Uh, I have two. Uh, I have. <laughs> I have two uh, departmental awards to give. Uh, the award for uh, the student in the International Development Studies program goes to Brooke Richardson. Brooke is, um, you know, has an outstanding resume like all of our recipients do. Um, just a pure delight to have in class. Uh, she brings this infectious enthusiasm. And uh, you can just tell that, you know, th that she's actively trying to sort of grow as a person uh, through the educational experience, through um, the classes that we teach. So uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you in class and you're I'm um, going to do great things in life. We really appreciate having you for uh, the short period of time that we've been here. And the, um, 
Uh, the department award in the uh, political science major goes to uh, Brooks Walker. Brooks is um, Brooks is the uh, HU's um, hail fellow well met, the most affable person I've ever met. Uh, just this warm, uh, caring uh, presence, uh, just a great soul to have again. And uh, just like all the other students who are receiving these department awards, they have amazing academic resident uh, resumes, but uh, Brooks was able to sort of bring this you know, kind of curiosity and this engagement to class and uh, just made it a joy to uh, work with them for uh, the period of time that we've had together. So congratulations. Hi, everybody. Thank you for the nomination. And I hear that uh, TikTok videos are pretty cool, so I thought I would uh, try using that. Uh, to see if I could relate to your generation. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Hi, guys. The award for mathematics this year goes to Miss Alexandria Maris. You here, bro? Uh, you all know Alexandria, super work ethic, incredibly helpful, uh, working with others in groups, and smart as a whip. What you might not know about her, she knows more about rigorously calculating the probability of a hole in one than I think any other golfer in the world. <laughs> She's our very own mathematical golfer and golfing mathematician, and congratulations is well deserved. The Outstanding Award in Computer Science this year goes to Klaus Chen. Do you think it's though like, too serious for what we're trying to do. <laughs> like that. No. Okay. I think it works then. Oh, I don't think we shut the video off. I could have seen my Zoom outfit. Lisa Calling. I saw you come in. Lisa Calling came to us all the way from Dudley. That's what Dr. Smith told me to say. Um, she's from the middle of England, and so she came a long way to study with us and to play tennis. And since she's been here, she's been very busy, busier than I knew, actually. I had to read about you in order to find out everything that you were doing. Um, she's been tutoring, she's been working, she's been doing things back at home and here all at the same time. And, and while she's been doing all these things uh, to help her get through college and have a good experience, she's been maintaining an awesome GPA and just being a delight to be around. I think we spend half of our advising sessions laughing. Um, and I recognize her by her laugh when she's in the hallway. Um, she's warm, she's funny, she's a compassionate person. And uh, it's been a joy to have you in our department, Lisa. So congratulations. This year, the Jane Addams Award in Social Work goes to Emily Strunk. <laughs> Emily, Emily is a double major in Social Work and Psychology with a minor in Criminal Justice. She's been a leader on campus as a new student orientation leader and as president and vice president of Social Work Club. Um, she's had numerous uh, volunteer experiences in the community working with DCS, and she recently completed her 
uh, senior practicum with Huntington County Probation. Um, she's been just a blessing to have in the classroom. We're going to miss her. Um, so congratulations, Emily. It's so good to be back in person for Forester Night. That's awesome. Hey, so I'm here uh, because I am your favorite cartoon bee, apparently. <laughs> the best part. The best. I'm really here to present the Criminal Justice um, Award. And I got to be honest, this is my first year doing this. Didn't know we were supposed to have a ton prepared, so I'm just going to speak from the heart, off the top of the head, a little bit about this person. This person, again, just off the top of my head, is the kind of person who lives uh, freely, enjoys having fun, um, and loves unconditionally. They die daily. They are from Osseo, Michigan, and Hillsdale. Their birthday is April 15th. <laughs> Their mother's birthday was yesterday. And they joined Facebook in March of 2012. Unbelievable. The Criminal Justice Award goes to Brent Wisely. Yeah. 
In all seriousness, um, all three of my majors, Bree, Cam, and Brent, um, have persevered uh, through some uh, crazy times to be a criminal justice major, and I have absolute zero doubt that all three of them, uh, Brent included, um, will be a part of the change that we all want to see in criminal justice. Brent, congratulations. And it's my privilege to be able to present the Sociology Department Award this year to Blake Cook. If <laughs> If, if someone asked me to design a student who just really epitomized the best of Huntington University, it'd have to be Blake. He's, it would have to be him. Yeah. He's, he's an outstanding student, uh, a skilled athlete. He's been a leader on campus. He's a person of integrity. He's very resilient, as evidenced by the fact that he's even survived my sociological theory class and seems relatively normal in spite of it. And he's a very polite person. He even pretends to laugh at the worst of my jokes. And I think, you know, what more could one ask from a student? So it's been my privilege to get to know Blake over the years, and I'd like to congratulate him on this award. Thank you so much for this nomination for Professor of the Year. It's a real honor. Um, as I was thinking about it, I was reminded of some of my favorite professors, and then I got uh, a story that really came to mind. I thought I'd share it, and hopefully it'd be an encouragement to you all at the busy time of year. So I remember I was sitting as a junior in my professor, uh, Doc Rainbow's office over in the Maryland Center for the Arts, and he asked me, what am I gonna do with my life? And, uh, and I started you know, thinking, what could I possibly answer for this question? And it, and it hit me, and I was like, oh, what I really want to do with the whole rest of my life is I want to... Holding a rifle next to my wife, and I'm in the front, and there's a dude right next to me also with a gun. And then this other guy who's supposed to be scuba diving with us. Let's just go up on the roof and we'll look out over the sunset. The sun's setting, it's gonna be beautiful. So we climb up the ladder and there's orange and red in the sky and it's beautiful and she looks out and she sees finally this giant It's a huge encouragement to me. I hope it's an encouragement to you. And thanks again for this nomination. It means a lot. The Institute for TESOL Studies is proud to offer an award to one outstanding student pursuing certification to teach English to speakers of other languages. That person in 2021 is Sandra Haraguchi. Yeah. You all know Sandra well. Um, so like others have said, um, I could read a list of things uh, about her, but what has distinguished herself, uh, what has distinguished her for me um, and those working with her in many ways as a student, but also in her pursuit to develop, grow, and learn. Um, she has gone above and beyond, um, some of you may not know, the minimum coursework for a TESOL certificate in order to get the TESOL minor. Um, when COVID hit, she pivoted seamlessly to complete her practicum experience 
virtually by teaching students in Thailand. Um, but she is not a student with only one path and only one passion. She truly sees the bigger picture where God is at work and seeks to prepare herself to come alongside in whatever way she can. Um, in our classes, we talk a lot about five roles um, that Christians entering the field um, should have, and she consistently exemplifies all of them. She um, teaches with authenticity, acts as an ambassador of Christ, his church, and her culture. She aspires to be an agent of healing and reconciliation across cultures. She serves her communities as an allied learner of language and culture and advocates for those who may not be able to advocate for themselves. It's been an honor to work with you. This year's Theater Arts Department Award goes to Elizabeth Hancock. <laughs> Elizabeth, or as most of us know her, EJ, um, is a mainstay in our department. She is one of the most dependable, reliable, hardworking students that I have ever had the privilege to work with. And I know that I'm making her feel very awkward right now because she doesn't, uh, she doesn't like to receive praise very much. I mean, she does, but um, she, she often undervalues her contributions to productions and to our department. Um, her shop supervisor shared this. Um, he said, I have watched her grow tremendously since her freshman year in acting, design, leadership, and scenic artistry. She is great at conducting research, experimenting with new ideas, and thinking outside the box. She does a lot for the department and never gives up. Uh, she has trained underclassmen. She has uh, made the impossible props possible. Uh, and she has brought not only her creative talents backstage, but also uh, on stage as well, uh, particularly in Cinderella this past, uh, this past month. So it is my privilege and honor to give this award to Elizabeth Hancock. She's crying. What about you? Why are you crying? Why are you crying, Megan? Yeah, why are you crying? My favorite color is green and blue. And <laughs> I feel like I sound weird. You do. <laughs>
Induction into Alpha Chi is the highest academic honor at Huntington University. The requirement for induction is junior or senior status and being in the top 10% of students at Huntington University. Alpha Chi is devoted to making scholarship effective for good. Would the 2021 Alpha Chi graduating seniors please come forward as I call your name and line up alphabetically across the stage to receive your certificates and medallions while I brag on you a little bit. Kristen Borntrager, Jade Clement, Jonathan Deacon, Paris Dershel, <laughs> Megan Duckworth, Nicole Flickinger, Sarah Leninger, Nick Chloe McCashin, Brooke Richardson, Ashley Spirek, Trent Yentes. This year has been one of significant achievement by the HU Alpha Chi Indiana Beta Chapter, including the following. HU was again named at Alpha Chi Star Chapter nationally. Huntington University's Alpha Chi is one of only four chapters across the nation that have won this award every year since it was created in 1994. The students of Alpha Chi enriched the campus with academic programs and activities during a pandemic year, thanks to the leadership of our student officers. Our student officers for this year were President Brooke Richardson, Vice President Paris Durschel, both of those are the people are graduating this year, Secretary Erica James, Treasurer Jackson Brandon, and Public Relations Director Hannah Taylor. Faculty sponsors were Dr. Tanner Babb, Dr. Ann McFerrin, Professor Paul Nalia, and myself. Next year, Erica James will be president and Anna Olivia Smith will be vice president of our chapter. Let's give the officers and our seniors a round of applause. Four HU students presented their scholarly work at the Alpha Chi National Convention, which was held virtually this year. Hannah Taylor won a presentation prize. Seth Parcel won an alternate regional scholarship. Jackson Brandon won a regional scholarship. And Cindy Ca Sydney Callum won an alternate national scholarship. Our last item. Our last item tonight is to announce the 2021 Paul and Jean Michelson Outstanding Scholar Award presented to a graduating senior elected by Alpha Chi on the basis of academic and personal excellence as well as contributions to Huntington University and Alpha Chi. The award includes a total of $150 in honor of Dr. Paul and Jean Michelson who made the Huntington University Alpha Chi chapter what it is today. This year's Alpha Chi election for the Outstanding Scholar Award uh, by the Alpha Chi students resulted in a three-way tie, and the recipients will receive $50 each. One of the recipients has been heavily involved in Student Senate as well as collaborative scholarship efforts. Another served as Vice President of our Alpha Chi chapter, and another served as President. Each of these students has made outstanding out uh, academic contributions to our campus. Please, please join me in congratulating Ashley Spirek, Paris Durschel, and Brooke Richardson. Hello, Foresters. You don't know me. I can tell by the greeting. The President Advisory Council on Excellence with the Moore Foundation offered two Huntington University Servant Leadership Awards. It's a $750 scholarship as well as a $250 gift to a charity of their choice. The first recipient of this award is Angel Moyer.
Angel is described as a pleasure to work with and to know because of her positive, hardworking attitude and gentle spirit that makes every person feel at ease. She is inclusive, compassionate, trustworthy. She's been incredibly impactful in the residence halls. And there's a note here that says, Angel has integrity and is not afraid to confront others in a loving, Christ-like way. Angel is not only making a positive impact in the halls, she's also a leader in the classroom and with Youth for Christ. Will you please congratulate again, Angel Moyer. Our second recipient this evening is Kayla Zerberg. In the community, Kayla has served at Meal Ministries here in Huntington with a women's Bible study group called Delight Ministries. Kayla served at dinner and dessert and conversed with the leaders of Meal Ministries and the people who came to eat there. Kayla takes genuine interest in the success of others, whether in the classroom or outside of it. She interacts well with her peers, demonstrating both encouragement and respect. This is one of the key qualities that make her a clear leader in the many areas she has dedicated herself to. Furthermore, Kayla has a servant's heart. No matter her role in the classroom, in the community, in the dorms, she contributes the best that she has to offer to all the people around her. Congratulations again, Kayla Zerberg. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming out. Um, before I start with my awards that I'm giving, uh, could we give Kyler Bourne a round of applause for planning this event? He's been backstage this entire time making sure things have been running smoothly, and I cannot be prouder of him. All right. I am here to present a scholarship that SGA awards every single year to a deserving and outstanding sophomore who has exhibited exceptional leadership capabilities and potential. Um, we assess many scholarship applicants who are sophomores based on several criteria such as involvements throughout their first two years at HU and their plans for future involvement. Um, this year, our our Impact Initiative Scholarship recipient is Jesse Frank. <laughs> Jesse, I, in giving you this award, I hope that this encourages you in your leadership and um, the potential that you have already exhibited throughout your past year as an RA in Wright Hall. Um, I cannot speak for the Wright residents, but I know that you have had a tremendous impact on the community. And here's to your future leadership on HU, and I know you'll make a profound difference on this campus. All right, it has been a good year. I want to thank you all for allowing me to serve you as your student body president during this crazy COVID year. Um, there are lots of things that I could say in closing out my presidency, um, but I just want to um, highlight how when we face obstacles and things that are unexpected, um, like COVID, like the fact that I ran for president before I even knew COVID would 
reach the United States. Um, with challenges comes incredible opportunity. And every time we, um, we face a barrier or something that seems insurmountable, when we put our minds to it, when we channel our creativity, our anger, our frustration in a constructive way, we can make profound change. And that is what I've seen throughout the past year um, through my own leaders that have served alongside me. Um, so thank you all who have been a part of my journey leading the student body this year. And yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. I would like to invite Seth Parcell up to the stage, our new student body president. <laughs> Seth, after an unforgettable year of service together on executive board, I entrust the responsibilities vested in the role of student body president over to you in the passing of this gavel. May I present to you all the student body president of 2021 to 2022, Seth Parcell. Um, how about another round of applause for Ashley and all the hard work she's put in this year. I'd also like to thank all of the other SGA members who helped put on events like this, especially Kyler backstage um, and everyone I've worked with. Um, this year's been challenging for us all, but this right here, this energy is why I love Huntington. And I want to carry this into next year, and I want to ask you all to bring that with you. So this is for next year. I look forward to serving you with the SGA. We still have more. Uh, memberships open, so please consider serving. So, thank you. I, I'm honored to work with an amazing group of faculty here at Huntington University. And you guys uh, know that this year the faculty did step up to it in the midst of uh, a lot of challenges. Would you just join me in thanking them all? <clears throat> now here's what students say about our 2020-2021 Professor of the Year. They use the words approachable, warm, and welcoming. Another student wrote, does a wonderful job of balancing lecture, discussion, and group projects that make learning the subject very effective. And probably the quote I like the most is, challenges us to think and dive deeper into our faith and understanding of God, Jesus, and the Christian journey. I have found this professor to be solution-oriented, student-focused, and committed to excellence. Our professor of the year embraced the opportunity to teach in a tent last fall. He is a 98 graduate of Huntington University. He joined our faculty in 2016. Earlier this month, he successfully defended his MFA thesis at Asbury University. Please join me in congratulating our 2020-2021 professor of the year, assistant professor of film production, Matt Webb. Thank you, this is kind of rad. So, um, I get to tell stories and I get to work with students who want to tell stories and it's an honor. Uh, I love teaching. So, thank you for this.
Whew. Well, uh, Italian beef was not a good choice uh, to eat to see him when I put the mask on, I'll be honest with you. Uh, what a relief, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so um, now we're uh, ready to, uh, to give the uh, Forester of the Year um, awards. And before we do that, I just want to congratulate all of you graduating seniors. You have done an excellent job representing this university and yourselves, and above all, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So a uh, good hand for you guys. Uh, for <laughs> for, for finishing well. All right, I'm gonna read through the list of nominees, a little bit about each one of them, and uh, then we will give the first award, which is for Male Forester of the Year. All right, the first nominee is Mr. Josh Wilson. I, and I, I do have his ID number if anybody ha needs meals, so I do have that, so um, let me know. Um, his hometown is Pigeon, Michigan. Uh, his major is biology pre-med, uh, some of his involvements. Uh, our resident assistant for three years um, in Miller Hall, uh, Miller Hall, Miller Hall, and Miller Hall. Um, Student Government Association for two years, SGA Vice President um, this, this current year. He's been involved in Awakening Fire, Run Club, Zesto's Club, Dinner Club, and founders of the Full Send Society. I, I don't know what that means and I hope it's okay. So, <clears throat> Mr. Josh Wilson. <clears throat> Our, uh, our, next, uh, our next nominee is Zadawathu Banda, or Z, if you will, absolutely. <laughs> Hometown is Lalongwe, Malawi, and uh, his major is Marketing and Management, and he is a member of the HU Men's Soccer Team. <laughs> our next nominee is Brock Perry. Brock Perry comes to HU from just a few hours down the road in Indianapolis, Indiana. His major, uh, two majors, Youth Ministry and Biblical Studies. Involvements include Baker and Wright Hall RA, Ultimate Frisbee Captain, and Undignified. Brock Perry. <laughs> Our next nominee is Mr. Jesse Grimm. Jesse comes to HU from Goshen, Indiana. He's a graphic design major and uh, also Ultimate Frisbee and also a CMC, so Jesse Grimm. <laughs> the next nominee is Jake Guntel. <laughs> Jake comes from Fort Wayne, Indiana, majoring in elementary and special education. Involvements are Residence Life, Intramurals, ABLE Program, and Undignified. Jake Gunther. Our final nominee is Mr. Brooks Walker. Brooks comes to HU from Columbia City, Indiana. He's a political science uh, major with a minor in history. Involvements, three-year RA for Wright Second, eight semesters in the Troublemakers, six semesters as the Troublemakers president, and has served as a frontline forester, a teacher's assistant, and a tour guide, and also a tutor, Mr. Brooks Walker. <laughs> I think you'll all agree that these uh, nominees are all very worthy of the award, um, but um, only one can receive it. And uh, this year's award goes to, and by the way, if you would turn that around, Kyler, this is a safe forester this year that we're giving away. They have the <laughs> mask on, and so we're doing that, but that goes to Mr. Josh the Jedi Wilson. I have nothing prepared. 
Uh, so that video you saw, that was really my like eight true credits. It was supposed to be Avengers Endgame, if you guys could tell. You saw the signatures. But that was really like a credits for my uh, HU experience. It's been a great time here. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, love HU. Let's go first. And the good news is you got the right mask, so that's, uh, that's good. <clears throat> All right, because this one does not smell good, so there's that. <clears throat> Okay, um, now for our Female Force of the Year nominees, we'll go through those. Uh, the first nominee is Alessandra Haraguchi. <laughs> Alessandra comes to HU from Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, major in missions and international developmental studies with a minor in TESOL. Uh, involvements include HU Women's Soccer, Livingston Hall CMC, Undignified Frontline Forester, SGA, and Global Vision. Alessandra Haraguchi. <laughs> Our next nominee is Ashley Spirit. <laughs> Ashley comes to HU from Kiev, Ukraine. Her major is, his majors, I should say majors are, history, philosophy, Political Science with Minors in Non-Western Studies and Bible and Religion. Uh, involvements include Horizon Scholar, SGA, Student Body President, CMC and Hardy Hall, Frontline Forester. Ashley Spirit. <laughs> Our next nominee is Georgie Johnson. <laughs> Georgie comes to HU from Titanian, Haiti. And uh, major in social work, involvements include SAB for three years, undignified for three years, and social work club for two years. Georgie Johnson. And then our next nominee is Rebecca Allen. Uh, Rebecca comes to HU from Paw Paw, Michigan. Major is occupational therapy assistant, OTA. Involvements include Joyful Noise, Delight, Frontline Foresters, Residence Life, and Soda Club. Rebecca <laughs> Allen. <laughs> and our final nominee for uh, Female Forester of the Year is Chloe McCashin. <laughs> Chloe's hometown is Bryan, Ohio. Major is Social Work. Involvements include Alpha Chi, Alpha Chi Honor Society, Undignified Social Work Club, and Alpha Groups. Chloe McCashin. <laughs> and this year's um, uh, COVID Safe Forester, uh, Female Forester of the Year goes to Rebecca Allen. <laughs> down a lot, but all I have to say is thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, we're going to bring uh, Forrester Night to a close. We hope you guys had a, a really good, enjoyable evening. And congratulations to all the winners. Um, so we just have one correction and a couple more presentations, and then we're done, right? Yep. Um, so earlier it was announced that uh, Dr. Jeff Lehman had um, won the History and Political Science Department for Faculty Spirit. Um, but it's since come to our attention that there are actually five commencements instead of six. So there's just a little less Forest for Spirit than we thought. So we revoked his award. <laughs> and we're going to re-gift it. So here we go. We have spent hours deciding on the next recipients. And we'd like to ask to come up to the front, please, Lynette Fager. Yes. 
Thank you. And if Dr. Luke Fetters would join us up here as well. You know, the Oscars were just Sunday that nobody watched. I don't know if maybe, maybe some of the film people watched it. I don't know. Um, but you know how everybody dresses up and it's fancy. And I guess there was a costume contest for tonight as well, which we do have awards for that. So this is all apparel awards. Um, so uh, we have uh, two trophies um, backed by popular demand. Um, so the female recipient of outstandingly dressed faculty and staff person is none other than Lynette. Yeah! Yeah! And the male recipient is Dr. Fetter, so congratulations. I gave this back to them. Okay. All right, now we really are getting to the end. So I have the actual um, prize envelopes for the costume contest winners. So I will be awarding those. Um, and please come up to receive your award. In third place, everybody give it up for the Skater Boys. <laughs> skater Boys, Skater Boys, come on up. This is your moment in the, in the spotlight, so to speak. <laughs> All right, so who's accepting the third place? There you go, there you go, give them a hand again. Yes, awesome. Second place, Quaker second. The last award of the evening goes to the first place winners, Roaring Twenties. Roaring Twenties, come on down. Okay, you ready to start clapping again? Roaring Twenties, here we go. Excellent work, excellent work. It's kind of bright up here. It is kind of bright. All right. Here you go, your winners. Congratulations. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed Forrester Night. Have a great night and study hard. <laughs>